Hi everyone, this is Carolyn Schechter, and today we're going to be talking a little bit about lovastatin and the drug mechanism of how it works. So lovastatin works to lower cholesterol. Um, so what is cholesterol? How is it synthesized within the body? Um, cholesterol is a lipid that helps maintain animal cell membranes. Uh, it's also the precursor of many steroid hormones in the body, such as progesterone, testosterone, estradiol, and cortisol. These are sex hormones and what's called the stress hormone that helps with inflammation, things like that. Cholesterol is synthesized in three stages. Stage one is the synthesis of isopentanyl pyrophosphate, an activated isopropene unit that is the key building block of cholesterol. Now the committed step of the biosynthesis of cholesterol is the step where HMG-CoA is converted to malavonate by HMG-CoA reductase. So this step right here. And then ATP is used to convert the malavonate into the isopentanyl pyrophosphate, which is the building block of the cholesterol. Stage two is the condensation of six molecules of isopentyl pyrophosphate to form squalene right here. And that's all those units coming together to build the full backbone. And then in stage three, squalene cyclizes, and the tetracyclic product is subsequently converted into cholesterol here. So stage three is down here. This is just another um, picture showing the cholesterol biosynthesis. We can see here HMG-CoA formation, and then the committed step to malavonate. 3 ATP used to form isopentanyl pyrophosphate, which is the building block as we talked about before. Then the coming together of all of that to form squalene here. And then cholesterol formation here to make bile acids and salts, steroid hormones, vitamin D, keep animal cell membranes together, all of that. This is de novo synthesis and it uses acetyl-CoA to form cholesterol. So now we're going to talk a little bit about lovastatin. This is the drug or the chemical formula here. Um, statins in general are a group of drug used in the treatment of hypercholesteremia or just too much cholesterol within the body. There's lovastatin, there's atorvastatin, which is also called Lipitor. Um, there's a lot of different, provastatin is another one. But we're gonna talk about lovastatin, which is produced by the company drug company Merck. Uh, lovastatin works by competitively inhibiting H MG-CoA reductase, 3-hydroxy-3-methylglutarol coenzyme A reductase. HMG-CoA reductase, as we talked about before, is the enzyme involved in the rate-limiting step of cholesterol biosynthesis. If we don't have this reductase, we'll look back here, HMG-CoA will not be converted into malavonate, and then it can't produce the backbones of the cholesterol, so the cholesterol isn't going to be made as readily. As we can see here, they actually mention this here, HMG-CoA reductase inhibitor, statins, important cholesterol-lowering medications. Uh, it prevents the formation of the iso isoprene units. Now, when we take lovastatin in this form here, it's actually not the active form. So what happens is Lovastatin is what is called a prodrug, and it's a drug that's given in the inactive form and must be hydrolyzed, or in this case, with lovastatin, hydrolyzed some other drugs. It's different reactions, but it's hydrolyzed into its active beta hydroxy form by the stomach acid in, the st in your stomach, by acid in the stomach. So as we can see here, this ring is broken here, and then this is the active form. That's the HMG-CoA reductase inhibitor. So it has to undergo that process for it to work and lower our cholesterol. So that's a little bit about how lovastatin works. I have a couple references here. So if you have any questions for me or if, uh, any comments, please let me know. Thanks for listening.